here we are with two of coins. Now, this is one of the cards which makes it really p clear that Pamela Coleman Smith, who did the artwork for the Rider Waite set, um, worked with theatre sets. You can see very clearly here this is an actor standing in front of a theatre backdrop. It's a coins card, so our first thought is oh, it's Earth needs its money. Here we are, we have the symbol of infinity. So <coughs> if if this card appears in a reading which is mostly about work and money, right, this is about money infinitely flowing, but sometimes that just means doing the elastic money trick to make it last the whole month. Um, this is not... Um, money, this is not gold sovereigns showering down from heaven, this is simply balancing money, sorting money out. Mm. Quite a lot of people are sort of nodding to this, aren't they? Oh yes, definitely. Um, this, if you have other cards in the, in the reading which are about relationships, certainly a relationship which is ending or has come to an end. Um, perhaps you'll have cards like Justice, the, where people are dividing up perhaps the marital home, everything from um, the, bank, the joint bank account to the CD collection. That's assuming people still own CDs, <laughs> do everything on Spotify. Um, this, this can mean dividing everything into two. On the other hand, it can be the complete opposite of that. It can be um, that point of a relationship where two, um, two lots of things are going into one home, at that point where you're actually moving in together. Yeah? It's the challenging thing about coins cards is there's a lot of emotion tied up with money, isn't there? You'd often hear people, oh, why are you so materialistic? Why don't you offer tarot readings for free? I'm also a Reiki healer. And I get that one a lot. Why don't you offer Reiki for free? It's healing, it's universal energy. Um, <laughs> you know... What does it say about people if they expect to be given everything for free? Yeah. But yes, dealing with money, dealing with money issues. But of course, you know, there's a lot of emotion tied up with money. Sometimes quite a lot of anger tied up with money, isn't there? Yeah. You know. Um, but yes, in a, if if you have cards giving you relationships, um, the m money is um, can, can be quite a, an issue within relationships. Certainly, it's an, an issue uh, when relationships are coming to an end. But it's also one of the things that breaks relationships, isn't it? Every time there's a recession, the divorce rate goes up. Nothing like money issues to put a strain. On, on a relationship, is there? But this equally may turn up in a reading that's about work and business, particularly self-employed people, um, people who run their own business. So you might have the emperor, the empress, king of coins, queen of coins. Um, might have signs of other money issues, perhaps. Um, page of coins, ace of wands, those, those sort of things. It can purely be about it can purely be about business, but people will people you're reading for your your querent will usually um, usually tell you if if someone is in the middle of a messy divorce, they will usually tell you because they're usually telling everyone. Yeah, and um, money is something that 
people in that situation can really get their teeth into. Because it's quantifiable and, you know, you, you can use it as a weapon to hurt someone, can't you? But, um, so take your cue from the rest of the spread as to whether this is about uh, relationship issues or whether it's about it is purely taking its obvious meaning of yes it is just about um yes it 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 is just just about money i rather like him he, he he looks like a clown he looks like quite a happy kind of character doesn't he and of course that image of of yes money flowing of course we can use money to make more money can't we um hopefully there we are. So the the suit of coins. There's a lot of emotion tied up with it. People running their their own business, or particularly people trying to do the what appears in the three of coins, making a living out of something that's important to them. Um, I've written a book. Do you think I'm going to get it published? Um. You know, there's, there's a lot of emotion, isn't there? But do you think set, sets up a small business, even if it's just a little bit of, you know, they've got a shop on Etsy or something. There's there's a lot of emotion, um, because it's a, a a business is even a micro business is something you created, you put a lot of energy into. Yeah, there we are. Money. Being divided into two, or two lots of money, going into going into one home. Money in isn't necessarily just pounds in the bank. It can mean all sorts of um, assets, can't it? You know, your your furniture, your your belongings. It, it's all material things, isn't it? And of course, <laughs> there's Think of jewel, ju think of a necklace, think of jewellery. Oh yes, it was a 21st birthday present from my parents. So you could take it to a jeweller's and sell it. it, it has a definite material value. But what is the emotional energy that is tied up? There's a huge amount of emotional en energy tied up with jewellery, isn't there? It's very difficult to divide money from emotion. People who practice psychometry, where you, you hold an object and, and see what um, feelings you get from it, of, of course, can work very easily with with, with jewellery, particularly wedding rings. Wedding rings hold a tremendous amount of emotion. So a wedding ring, you can go to a jeweller's and buy a wedding ring, and it will cost you X amount of money. But what it, what is the you could maybe if you're getting divorced, you could sell your wedding ring. And just get money for it, but there would be a lot of emotion tied up in that, wouldn't there? Yeah, money and emotion. We may not like to acknowledge that because people, very few people, really like to think of themselves as being materialistic. But um, it's difficult sometimes to separate um, material value and emotional spiritual value. So. Don't take coins cards always at the face value as, oh yes, it's all about money. A lot of the time, by the nature of tarot, it's about the emotional impact that um, that money has on our lives. Someone who's, someone who's been made redundant, so, um, or someone who's retired, uh, you know, lost the job, May, yeah, obviously, money in that con context is is an issue. Must be sometimes be made redundant, but it's also it's not just the money, is it? It's also the fact that you, you feel unappreciated. I worked for them for all those years, and they did that to me. So you may have the card of justice there, uh, particularly justice reversed. If if you do reverse meanings. Yeah, a feeling of injustice. Yeah. Money is 
quite a quantifiable concept in, in terms of um, injustice and fairness. Come on, a lot of what courts deal with is money, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. So your initial reaction to this card is yes to two lots of money being divided or um, the lion in Shakespeare's Twelfth Night might not a pair of these have bred <laughs> but two, you know, two coins making more money. But th think about the implications in, in, in someone's life of um, of money and of material. Yeah. The tarot, there's you keep peeling away layers of meanings and it is quite intuitive after a while but your querent, the person you're reading for will point you in the right direction they will tell you what it is that they're asking i often start a reading by saying is there anything specific you'd like to take a look at um which is, is quite a good place to start because then you'll know if um oh i've got loads of problems with my ex-husband yeah you, you know what it is that they're asking for guidance about and your, your querent is expecting a good reading and they're expecting some sort of guidance from it and if if you ask people they will help you they will point you in the right direction yeah there's a lot to think about isn't there the implications of wealth abundance I hope you have lots of wealth and abundance in your life. Lots of joy, lots of happiness, lots of people that care about you. And I hope that you have enough um, enough money flowing into your life to be safe, warm, well-fed, and to have those little luxuries that make life worthwhile, like the tickets to the theatre, the tickets to music events, yeah. Because um, we all deserve to be happy. So please don't forget, so please do subscribe to my channel, and um, I will see you again soon. Blessings to you.